Setting a realistic budget is my number one tip for rookie renovators. And a good way to do this is to figure out how much you'll think you'll need per room. Start with the average cost as an initial guide. For installing a bathroom, that's around six and a half grand. And the new kitchen will set you back an average of eight grand. And always have a contingency for those inevitable overspends and issues that crop up along the way. In terms of interior design, black has been, well, the new black for a while now, so it stands to reason that eventually this trend would reach the kitchen. While a trip to the dark side is not for the faint-hearted, contrasting black cabinets with lighter floors, walls or work surfaces and using clever lighting means you can get that striking look without feeling like you're cooking in a cave. That is not so good. Is this rising damp or is this a problem coming down from the roof? We think it's a mix of the window being rotten, the external rendering coming away, and potentially the roof and guttering as well. So it's like and the a bit of a mixed bag. Everything. Yeah. Did you get a survey done before you purchased? Um, no, I didn't actually. Did you not? No. And, and why? Because my dad's into property, and he was like, literally, the survey's going to come back and tell you you need to do everything. So oh. we know that already. So he was like. We'll just crack on with it when we get the keys. OK. <laughs> but I know, it's a bad idea. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. We're all about saving money, but it's not good to cut corners, especially when it comes to the integrity of the building. It's so important, it's imperative to do. You can even knock money off the purchase price, can't you, depending on what comes back from the survey. Yeah. And we know that your dad's going to put anything right that yeah. is potentially really wrong. Yeah. Two thirds of people say they pay more for a property with good curb appeal, but a makeover doesn't have to be pricey a newly painted front door, freshly painted render, and a bit of greenery will all add value with minimal outlay. If you take a lot of your rubbish to the tip yourself, in general, it's free. Yeah. Tradesmen have to pay. So you can help yourself and get your quote down by taking a lot of rubbish to the tip. You could probably help by actually stripping some of this back, showing them that it's not that bad of a yeah. job, and then you might even be able to negotiate a little bit more off. Hey, Sana, how are you doing? Hi. I'm back at work now, as you can see. <laughs> and so I think that's made it a lot more difficult to like keep an eye on the tradespeople. Um, so, for instance, like just a little bit of miscommunication last week resulted in a delay in the class risk. So it's resulted in like a delay of a whole week now. Oh, right. no. Yeah. Sana, this is, this is common and it's very frustrating. You're the client and they're working for you. So, make sure that they understand that you mean business. Yeah. It is not an easy job doing a renovation, but being firm is key. When we work together, it's easy, because Stuart can be bad cop, I can be good cop. But when you're renovating on your own, you have to play both parts. So, yes, there will always be delays with materials or something will happen, but if you can at least try and work around that and maybe work on something else instead to get that done, fantastic. Conservatories hit peak popularity during the 1980s as a cheaper alternative to an extension. But demand fell as homeowners discovered they were too hot in the summer and hard to heat in the winter. Today, the smart move is to fit a permanent insulated roof to an existing structure, making the temperature more controllable and turning conservatories into a desirable feature once more. Lime Render is the best option when you're looking for a breathable, flexible, damp-proof solution. Although, at £20 per square metre, it is double the cost of a cement render. But when you invest in quality materials, that always reflects in the value of the house. Log burners can bring a classy, cosy feel to a room, and a double-sided one would achieve that in both the conservatory and the snug. I love that you want to keep that traditional feel in the cottage. Love that okay. fireplace. A source of heat in the winter and a stylish focal point in the summer, they are fast becoming a must-have in the interior design world. House and garden is becoming ever more popular. To get that outside-inside look, use natural materials like wood and stone, add greenery and botanical prints, and fit picture windows or bifold doors to let in light and frame your view of the outdoor space. I've lived in a property whilst renovating, and it isn't straightforward. But it does have its advantages. It's not only easier to keep track of the build, 
it also means being around to make decisions on any unexpected issues that may arise. Staircases are often located in the middle of the house and can be dark and uninviting. Going for a contemporary design with glass panels, wooden slats or open stairs can make the most of any available light and make the space feel larger and more welcoming. Tiles are a great way to inject bold statement colours, experiment with patterns and shapes or create imaginative focal points. For those on a budget, there's the cheap option of tile effect vinyl that comes in stickers or on a roll or using specialist paint to cover existing tiles. Whatever you choose, tiles are great for giving your walls the wow factor. If it's a luxury spa you're after, marble is the way to go. Not only does it have timeless appeal, it's also bang on trend. It can be one of the priciest materials out there, but the good news is there are a number of convincing lookalikes made from ceramic and porcelain that can create that deluxe effect at a fraction of the cost.